Hey, I'm about to do a little bit of basement floor painting here, and you can see it looks pretty crappy. I've been cleaning this and trying to prep it as good as I can. I pressure washed this whole basement, and I painted the walls down here already. That was kind of a straightforward thing. Uh, but now I'm going to try to throw some paint on this floor. We're going to use a porch and patio paint, a bear from Home Depot. Lid in also makes one, which I think actually may be better according to the reviews. I'm going to go ahead and use this crap from Home Depot. Um, I got it tinted like a purple, a really dark purple. I did not mean for that. On the card it looked like a dark kind of red, which I thought was cool, but it came out looking purple in the can. Um, but we're looking at this floor here. Let me show you. It does not look good. And this is not dirt here. I have mopped this like 12 times. You can see over here it's still wet. I got had the, uh, the big old fan running over here and I got the dehumidifier cranking over in the corner over there. But I pressure washed this. I pressure washed the floor too and we got two layers of paint under here. Um, you can see the top one's red and underneath was a gray paint and this is what come off with the pressure washing here you can see that's not dirt i don't know why it turns that color that does i mean even though i mopped it literally 10 times it's a fine freaking thing of dust here i'm done mopping this i've mopped it a thousand uh, so much i've washed it down with the hose i mopped it it's, i mean i don't know what more to do so anytime you're going to paint any surface, the prep is really, really the key part. And unfortunately with this, I mean, I've literally mopped this seriously six times now. I've been exaggerating. I've been like 10, 11 times, literally six times. I've been through here with the broom. I start with a broom and a hose and just pushing all the stuff, all the debris and or all the dust off the floor over there. Then I mopped it twice with a sponge mop and it still has a fine layer of dust. I, I mean, I don't know what else to do to this. I, whatever but you know if you really really want to hardcore prep this we could strip this floor we could get a buffer with a black pad and that's that's a stripping pad it would probably use up a lot of pads but we could probably get both layers of this paint off if we if we did that but that's a lot more work than I am trying to do here I'm eager to use this basement I knocked these walls out real fast with some paint I'm gonna paint the large areas here, trim it in later. And I mean, I pressure washed this and I've scraped it and this is what's come off. And so this paint's really, really stuck here. And this fine layer of dust is driving me, driving me nuts. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, I freaking mopped this like so much already. I'm done, I'm just gonna, we're gonna paint it. My only real advice besides prepping the floor is dump the paint straight on the floor and go at it with a 9 inch roller on an extension. I really believe that this saves paint and actually just kind of makes it go longer ways doing it this way, spreading it out. Uh, aside from using a tray, so the tray eats up some paint itself and I don't know, I just like doing it this way. I don't, I've done this with polyurethane, it works good. Uh, of course prep the floor very good get it as clean as you possibly can scrape it whatever old paints on there if it's adhered that's fine you're good if your paints adhered fine you can go right over top of it like I am uh, and, and yeah I'm editing this video after this has all been done and this did adhere pretty good I don't have any stuff uh, flaking up or chipping up yet I'm sure there'll be a couple spots I can always touch them up later um, but you'll see here I did speed up the video for you to speed this along but I want to kind of show you how I spread this out it's not rocket science but you know I if you if your roller starts to get thin out thinned out you can kind of go back over a spot real quick where you were rolling and probably grab pick up a little bit of paint and I'm just trying to make this stuff go as far as I can because I only got one gallon for now and I definitely have to get another one uh, you probably want two coats of this for sure one thing I do want to add is the quality of the roller cover that you're using for the floor 
doesn't really need to be that good. Now I do believe in using really good quality roller pads uh, for walls and such because it picks up more paint, holds more paint, doesn't splatter. So I, I like to use really good quality uh, roller covers for walls, but for the floor, you're we're more or less just spraying the paint around. You could get away with a real crappy one. Um, stay away from foam roller covers, <laughs> probably in all all situations though. And I did actually end up using a nice microfiber one here because I had one laying around. I don't have any crappy ones because I don't usually have crappy ones. But if you have one, definitely feel free to use it in this situation. I got the gloss because I scratch tested it on the store. They had samples of the gloss and the satin, and the gloss actually uh, did not scratch as easy. So even though it looks kind of crappy, it, I think it may be a little more durable. Uh, because you know how they actually make flat paint and satin paint. They actually take, they, they don't add stuff to make the paint glossy. They take it away. So that's why I think the glossy actually may be a little more durable. And over here, this was just a gallon of paint on the floor. That's as far as it got. And it definitely needs another coat. But for now, uh, I'm happy with it. And I definitely got to trim in all around the edges and stuff. So I got to get another gallon of paint for the floor and the walls. And again, definitely need another coat of paint on the floor. But compared to what it looked like before, which is this, uh, I don't think it's too bad. I didn't paint this spot here because there was some water standing here still. It's like a little bit of a divot. Uh, but I'm overall I'm happy. I mean the way we started out with this basement, this thing was atrocious. Um, it was a total disaster. And I'm happy now I can just finally kind of use the space a little bit. Um, that makes me really happy. And of course I'll always improve it as I go. but finally use this space and that is makes my day bring my table saw down here set my little wood shop get back in business <laughs> 